I'll call the last meeting of the year to order for the day. First item is approval of today's agenda. Move approval. Second. Motion and a second to approve the agenda. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Citizens to be heard. Either of you citizens want to be heard. <coughs> Okay, we'll move on. Approval of minutes from December 17, 2019 meeting. Move to approve. Second. Motion and second to approve the December 17, 2019 minutes. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Oh, same sign. Motion carries. Pay approval of payment of bills and vouchers. Move approval. Uh, are, are, we, are we waiting for a, a possible you correction? You went downstairs to check that. Can we maybe hold wait? that to the Here, end? Sure, wait for a minute. Oh, oh he is. Back. Okay, first item request approval of additional day sergeant. Sheriff and Chief Sheriff. Good morning, thanks for having us. Oh. Happy New Year. Uh, we're here today to request an additional day shift sergeant. We did add this into our, our budget for 2020, so it is uh, already in there. We'd like to have, uh, have that in there because a lot of times on weekends we don't. There's a gap in our weekend coverage for supervision, and we get a lot of requests and you know, for assistance for transports and things like that from the jail. That that person should be uh, arranging that, as well as um, we're we, we're we're busier nowadays. We really are. Our calls for service uh, this year compared to last year up by over two thousand. It, it's crazy busy. So having that uh, that supervision, their immediate supervision for things that are occurring on the street, uh, we feel is needed. And um, after today, I'll have the actual numbers. So for you, and I'll forward those to the county administrator so he can see exactly uh, how busy we are. But we're just it's through the roof right now, crazy busy for us, and I can't explain why exactly. We'll take your word for it, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> Any questions for these two fine gentlemen? I'd like to move approval. Second. Motion and a second to approve the request. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Both same sign, motion carries. Thank you. Happy New Year. Thank you. Happy New, Happy New, Year. New Year. Very much appreciated. Next item request approval of final contract for grading and paving. Better hold on one, yeah. Okay. It's like here. This is, this is. Okay, let's see, where are we at here? Sandy's here. Are you going to take care of the next one? Yeah, come on up. I don't run this on her way, but yeah, she pretty much said I was. Thanks It'll be all over by that time. Thanks for me. Request approval to hire full-time support enforcement aid for social services. Good morning. Excuse me. Oh, morning. <laughs> um, so back in 2010, we were in a hiring freeze at the county, and I had a child support officer who got a new job. And I have, this is the first that I've been allowed to come in and ask to replace that position. I'm actually asking for a position that's on a lower grade. Um, I, I see this says more we need really a supporting role. But in the last 10 years now, um, you know, we all had to take on more duties um, and we've had more complexity added to what we're doing um, for the child support officers. It's the um, parenting time that we're doing now. We're doing the... Um, <laughs> That's all right. Sandy's got it. I got it, yeah. I knew she was... <laughs> We have the income shares and then also... You were going to deny a request. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you were going to give her two, yeah. is that right? Woo! Yeah. yeah. Um, and then taking on the e-filing for court admin. Um, so I'm really looking for more of a support position. We're in the, our third year of a performance improvement plan for current collections. So I think being one down is finally catching up to us. 
Um, and I just, I really need a support enforcement aide who can help with some of the backup tasks, tasks that um, will help everybody free up a little more time to do the detail work to hopefully improve our current collections. So, um, questions? Questions for these ladies. So it was 10 years ago that well, so no. you, you do it? 10 in April. Okay. About the same time we have a snowstorm like this yeah. here. <laughs> Nine or ten years. So. If, I could, if I could just add, so and Sandy may have said this, so this was a new request in the 2020 budget, so I think it's all been included in there. And Sandy may also have mentioned this. Fortunately, is a position that receives that 66% federal I did not. reimbursement. <laughs> so um, that does reduce the county's obligation to that 34%, and that's what's noted there uh, at the bottom of your summary page. Kevin, Rhonda, is that 66% based on that current wage? Or is yes. it, are, 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 are there limits to? Uh, no, no. Okay. And so every year as wages increase or health insurance, that 66% that, applies okay. to that cost, okay. yes. Okay. I think I've asked that probably 10 times. Mm -hmm. And you said that this is the first time you were allowed to come forward. Was there some sort of restriction put on this? Or? Well, it just was one of those. It's Rhonda, that's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I, there were just a lot of other priorities in social services. Okay. That, um, you know, in order to get other positions filled that were really necessary in the financial unit and social services, we didn't go for this one. Any other questions for the board's wishes? Move approval. Second. Motion and a second to approve the request. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Both same sign. Motion carries. Thank you. Happy awesome. New Year, ladies. Thank you so much. Dave, come on up. Uh, request <coughs> approval of final contract for grading and paving project, Oakport Highway. Good morning. Well, good morning. <laughs> Just got one item here. This is for the uh, local improvement project to be sponsored for Oakport Township. Um, things went really well on it. Uh, there was only so much grant dollars and we were able to stay within that budget. We actually gave a little bit back, but uh, it's just kind of the way it turned out. That you, can't, you can't spend it all. You can only spend on what was approved on your project. But um, I think the things turned out really good. I used it quite a bit myself. and um, <clears throat> There was a little bit of a delay getting some of the power poles out of there and that was all taken care of this fall, so a little less snow trap out there. It looks a little cleaner having them out of the way. Um, Questions for Dave? Yeah, um, thank you. Um, so we have a, we have a, do we have a side deal with Oak Port for, because didn't they have a local share they had to pay? Correct, yeah, they've got the engineering contract that they need to pay the highway department. Yeah. And that's over, what, five years or something? Yeah, so? I believe so. I think it was capped at 30,000, and I guess get with Ann and kind of pull that together. And I, we, I don't think we exceeded that. The project went really fast. It was quick little grading and the paving went just in several days. So. How, how much more would it have been to put sh sh shoulders on that thing? <clears throat> yeah. Because when I look at it, it we gave them about 100000 back. Right. It, it did turn out a little more narrow, I guess, than I was kind of mm -hmm. liking as well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, it was a half a mile. I suppose extra shoulders would have probably been you know, maybe another seventy-five to one hundred thousand, somewhere in there. Um, the hardest thing was, you know, believe it or not, for how much width that we initially had there, we didn't have any extra width when we were done. You know, that wishing we would have. So it would have been a little bit harder. We, if, in order to have shoulders, we would have to widen the road. Right, I realized right, that right, more had, right away. So we'd inquired more right away, and you, obviously you can't go on the south side because the big ditch is there. Mm -hmm. So we'd have to acquire more from the landowner, and it, what, we did need a little piece on the corner. Uh, and it wasn't easy even getting that. Um, you know, the township would have, that would have been a township cost besides it because the grant would not have covered right away. So I, I don't know that it would have worked any other way, but I, I agree it, it is, from what you were used to seeing out there, that 40 foot wide gravel slash mud roadway, now we got, you know, we got, I think it's 26 feet maybe, plus or minus 27 I, feet. I mean, it's a great improvement, but it's just that it really looks mm -hmm. concerned about in the winter time. Yeah. <laughs> That's, you got to stay on the two lanes here, that's it. 
Um, so to, you know, to include the grading in the right of way on top of that, my number is probably a little late. I was just thinking just strictly asphalt, but. Okay, what are the board's wishes on this item? Move to. Second. Motion and second to approve the request. Any further discussion? Carry none. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Thanks, Dave. Dave, I just have a question quick. Did you uh, have many um, instances of people being stuck? I, I heard that there was somebody over by Barnesville that spent the night in a ditch in a neighborhood. You know, as far as like residents, locals? Well, vehicles. Right. I guess I haven't heard, I never heard those stories. Yeah. Um, uh, we did have several rescue missions that we worked closely with the Sheriff's Department on. You know, we had a group down in Comstock that we went and got out. Uh, we had a group on Highway 12, the Convent Road. They, I think they spent their night in their semi-trucks. I heard out there and, uh, you know, Mark was kind of putting signs up, making sure people didn't continue to drive into that. But um, I hadn't, hadn't heard a lot of okay. cases where people got stuck in. But okay. I know with the wind that we had, it was virtually impossible. Like on Sunday, our guys were out and then we had to pull them back because they just couldn't see anything. It was just got two right. conditions weren't good. Uh, the other question I had is uh, last year at the end of the season, we um, had to <coughs> use some blowers in intersections to right. just get stuff out of there. And on my way into town, while I'm really thankful that the work that the crews are doing to get roads clear, we've got a lot of intersections where right. the snow is higher than the intersection now that everything's filled in. and. It's just we're going to be you know, chasing circles all yeah. year long if we don't try to get some of those knocked down. Right. I just talked to Kim. As soon as we get our plowing work done, which we're not done with, and right. the, the dozers will come out and the blowers will all come out. Okay. We got two big wheel loader blowers and we have two tractor blowers. So we have a total of four. Okay. But as soon as our plowing's done, yeah, okay. you're right. We got to blow all them back, and uh, you can't push it anymore now. Yeah, right? you the can't. banks are too high. There's no way you can push it. Kind of looking like going on, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's not looking good at all. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Dave. Yeah. Are you going back to the office right away? Yeah. I've got a couple items. With. Uh, you want me just to wait, or do you want to talk? No? Well, it's about some other stuff. I'll All right. I'll, I'll wait. Okay. It shouldn't take more than sure. 10 minutes here. Okay. okay. <coughs> Let's uh, go back to improvement of payment of bills and vouchers. Uh, I, I move, move to approve the bills. No second. Motion and second to pay the bills. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, okay. same sign. Motion carries. Okay, request approval to submit letter in response to the Department of Human Services billing error. Billing error. Steve. Morning, Mr. Chair, members of the commission. Uh, as we've had a number of discussions uh, this past November, uh, DHS notified uh, all Minnesota counties of a uh, miscalculation in, in uh, how they provide payments to counties. Uh, for two of their programs in all of the cases there was overpayment made to two counties and the and dhs had requested that we pay back uh yep, that we pay back that dollar amount for clay county that was one hundred eighteen thousand nine hundred twenty two dollars and twenty three cents um, recently the association of minnesota counties well they, they the association of counties was on this right away and working for uh, for all of our counties and the, the board of directors recently adopted a motion to recommend that counties provide a a letter stating that we're not willing to pay repay uh, for the miscalculation uh, and we did see on uh, at the AMC conference that Governor Walls was there uh, and he did uh, state during that uh, during his speech that uh, he wasn't going to he was going to hold counties harmless and so the recommendation or request before you this morning on the back side of of the, the sheet there's a letter that we would send to the commissioner of, of DHS uh, stating that we would uh, be not not providing uh, payment for back for back uh, the back billing. Questions for Steve on this item. You know, it says here that the potential savings of one hundred eighteen thousand mm -hmm. uh, really isn't a savings. I think we just wouldn't pay that. I mean, right. That's not in the budget anywhere. Or anything. Like, correct. I You're mean, correct. It yes. would be against the budget. Uh, yeah. We'd have to take it out of revenues. We'd have to take it out of there. So it's really no savings in it, you know, and it would, we're just not going to pay it, I guess, so. Sure. Or request not to pay it, let's put it that way. I would, I would move approval of the letter. Second. Motion and a second to, to approve the letter. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Put the same sign. Motion carries. Thank, Thank you. you. Next item, request approval to fill vacated public 
health nurse position and higher additional are it as requested in the 2020 budget. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. So this is uh, Jamie's area that she supervises and it's the adult health programs that were very short. As you can see with um, nurses, we already have two open positions. This is the third one that was vacated. And then we had a um, nurse position in our 2020 budget. So it's to request the um, third vacancy as well as the 2020. The challenge for us, as you well know, we've talked about it many times, is we have not been able to fill the other two. We just do, are not getting applicants for the nurse positions, not qualified applicants, plus you know, an applicant of one isn't a very large pool. So Jamie put out a request to the health plans to determine if there's other options for us to uh, help us in the event that we just aren't going to be able to recruit our ends. But it's just a just challenge. Wasn't that part of though why we, what we wanted to focus on during our wage study and that will, that is not in effect until this next week. So. But it is advertised. So yeah, it is it's, actually yeah. advertised. So mm -hmm. you've been advertising for that mm -hmm. wage. Since the board yeah. approved. Right. So. And a problem we're having as well is the retention because of the caseload. So that is to our challenge is um, mm -hmm. we're losing. The last two we've lost is because of caseloads. So. So we are trying to be um, creative. Uh, we're talking to the health plans to see what other options are. There, um, it's not uncommon for us to get masters in public health requests for internships, and they have a variety of backgrounds. So we're exploring that as an option, also. Yes, my question would be: If you can't fill the other two, what's the use of getting to fill in the third one? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we'd like to advertise with um, as soon as we hear from the health plans with some other options for a uh, background besides a registered nurse. So if, if the board approves, then we can advertise for those other options. And you never know when you might get a bunch of applicants. That's right, okay. that's right, exactly. So this is, you need approval to be flexible on the educational background. Right, great. Well, yes. No. Yes, okay. that's what we'd so like. So who's approving that, or who's? Oh, the health plans, we, <coughs> Jamie already reached out to the health plans to see what we can utilize in the event we cannot recruit the RNs. So the insurance health plans? Correct. Yes. Okay. Yes. So there's no other regulating authority? DHS as, as well. Okay. So um, I assume this is a shortage statewide it that is. people are experiencing. So what is your state, what's the state agency doing to help advocate for counties to be flexible on the educational piece? Are you um, well, that we'll find out, like for DHS, if they're willing to be flexible in that regard. Overall, public health at a state level is looking at um, are there other, you know, degree areas that could be part of, like I mentioned, the masters mm -hmm. in public health, health sciences, mm -hmm. and could they fill some of the positions that um, are in public health across the state? Mm -hmm. So that's another thing they're looking at. Okay. Any other questions for these ladies? For the board's wishes. I'll make a motion to uh, fill the vacated position. Second. Motion and a second uh, to approve the request. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, certify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Thank you very Happy much. Happy New Year, ladies. Well, do, that needs to be two motions. Because oh, it does. Oh, okay. There's two, you asked, had two asks. Yes. Okay. okay. I'll make a motion to approve other professional options if RNs are not available to fill the positions. Second. Motion and a second. Any further discussion? Uh, I, I, at, some, at some point, I, I think we need, to, we need to review this caseload issue. Um, you know, it, it, it says here, is a, is a normal, the maximum caseload is supposed to be in the 50 to 70 range? Correct. And where are we at? We are 80 to 100, 80 to 100, 100. So that's, basically. Yeah, um, and, and, and you know, I don't know, you know, do they, do they just do what they can during a, you know, a, a weekly time period and then some get, 
what happens is some just not get done on time or correct and the timing it's is timelines is what our challenge is we are at audited on a regular mm -hmm. on an annual basis but also on a monthly basis and that really reflects on the health plans back to the federal um, contracts that they have um, as well and so they're aware of the problem they were asking you know what can you take caseloads from us the health plans do you have other options you know we've been in communication for them with them for quite a while um, and, to see what our options are and so each of these each case is unique to itself isn't it right. so I, I would imagine there are some cases like anything that require more and there's some cases exactly. that require less that's right you know? right mm -hmm. yeah well, I think at some point we need to review that. So, All right. If we're not getting employees because of that reason, then we got to go to the reason and figure out how we can fix it. Right. Okay, any other discussion on this issue? Very none. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Okay, thank Happy you. New Year. Thank Happy you. New Year. Committee reports. Jenny. I don't have any uh, committee uh, reports from last week, but I do serve currently as chair of the Lakeland Mental Health Center, and my term is up for that uh, board. So I think you all received a letter asking for an appointment if this board sees fit. And that's something that's uh, done by resolution, right? Right. I, I'd move that uh, Jenny be reappointed. Second. Motion and a second to reappoint Commissioner Mosho. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. We have a few more of those that are required, don't we, for? Um, we do. I figured that we would address them. Yeah, next week. Oh, sorry. No, that's that's all right. No, that's fine. It's one less we have to do next. <laughs> Kevin? Yeah, the only meetings that I had with the short week was the two meetings yesterday. One was the um, jail and LEC. That's, that's the jail is wrapping up the LEC. We, uh, we got the final uh, numbers in on the, um, bear with me for a second here. We got the final numbers on the um, contingency. Uh, we used none of the owner contingency. So that was 250,000. And then we also will be um, we also will be getting back from the contractor contingency uh, seventy five thousand six hundred and seventy five dollars. So between those two, pro you know, between the LEC project, uh, that one, you know, was three hundred and some thousand dollars to the good from what we had anticipated. And then on the jail project, um, right now our um, owner contingency was negative. Then this print is so cut and thick and small. Uh, Twenty-three thousand, roughly, roughly twenty-four thousand negative on the owner contingency, but then the contractor contingency we're still sitting. Uh, at about 113, but there's a few things yet to come out of that. So we're still going to come out, uh, you know, the combination of those two projects, 50 some million dollars, we're going to still have contingency left over. So that's a, that's a good thing. Um, and I think uh, our, our group is going, our, our committee group is going to have a tour on the 27th of January of the New part, and then the, um, because we can't all go together, Steve will be working on a time for each of you three to. They're going to be doing some tours with family and things like that too before they. Um, but we've we we figured we weren't going to make this another public event for that. We are going to have one come March or April for the juvenile center. But uh, so that that kind of pretty much that. And it's that's project is really winding down. I think they're looking at turning the keys over to them on. Was it the first week of February? Yeah, February 7th. February 7th. So, uh, the West Central Juvenile Center, I wish I could say the contingencies were as good there, but I can't. Uh, that's what happens when you remodel versus uh, building. Um, 
we, we still are kind of in, in that number range that we had talked about. Um, that one, now we have a uh, owner's meeting coming up on the 16th of this month. And we have arranged for all those members to have a tour uh, uh, to this point. And that one we're looking at uh, seeing a completion date of around mid, early to mid-March. So we're about a month behind from the deal <coughs> being completely done having the juvenile center done. And then that will hopefully close out those two projects that have been going on for a long time. So, so it's an exciting time to see them work. I know the, uh, and I asked yesterday, the, I think our inmate population is down right now, which is a good thing. And, and unfortunately, our, our juvenile population is up. And that's always a sad thing to hear, but at least we have a place to go in the programming for them. So that, Mr. Chairman, concludes my report. Frank. Uh, no meetings, just a couple of residential concerns that I need to take care of later on here. Thank you. Jim? Didn't have anything? Nothing. I had the uh, construction meetings yesterday also, and Kevin reported on that, and it is exciting. We're just about done with those projects, so we're ready to start some new ones, right, Steve? Yeah. Okay. Are we Steve? ready to go in that facility then? Uh, good. <laughs> Steve? I uh, just had a couple Take of meetings. Time. Uh, on the 23rd, I had uh, two department head evals. Uh, yesterday, we met with uh, with uh, Julie and, and uh, Troy. Uh, on the uh, food service, we'll, probably, we'll be bringing forward that issue next week at board. Uh, it was part of the owners' meeting, uh, both owners' meetings yesterday, and two. Just uh, in talking with Lori, there'll be one more. Uh, we'll be getting one more check for 2019. So early in January, I'll provide the board with an update of the uh, sales tax collection uh, for um, for 2019. Uh, we were anticipating one point. Uh, Eight million, just about 1.9 million dollars this year, and it's going to be significantly higher than than that. Um, we kind of touched on the committee. Uh, committee, uh, we've had a number of non-county committee requests of letters coming for your for your assignments, uh, so we can address that next week. Uh, we did get a letter yesterday uh, from uh, West Central Initiative. Commissioner Gross has been on their board uh, for six years, and he's reached his term limit, uh, and so. Uh, Unfortunately, he won't be able to continue, but uh, West Central Initiative is hoping that we'll have uh, another commissioner assigned. Uh, so if that's something that you're interested in, you know, talk to Commissioner, commissioner Gross uh, or, or myself. They meet three times a year, March, July, and November in locations, uh, various locations. It's a noon to three o'clock meeting. So. Um, and that uh, and, uh, concludes my meetings for this week. And again, just want to thank the board's willingness to, to meet today on the fifth Tuesday to get the bills paid for for the, the auditor's office. It's greatly appreciated. Okay, anything else to come before the board before the end of the year? Hearing none, we're adjourned. <coughs>